Ronin S Essential Kit. How is it different from the standard kit? Is it worth it? Find out in the video coming up. So we're on the DJI store and we're going to talk about the Ronin S Essentials Kit. It retails for just $499 in the DJI site. And if you go to the standard kit, it's at $749. So the essential kit, you're saving $250. For me, this is like a no brainer. If you're thinking about getting a gimbal, you don't wanna watch the end of this video, just get it, okay? Get the essentials kit. You don't need the standard kit. So the essential kit is really what you want. And the standards kit comes with things that you really don't need. And I'm gonna explain why. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this focus wheel. Okay, this focus wheel you can get on the DJI site for $59, but with the essentials kit, it doesn't come with essential kit. And to me, you don't need it. When I had the standard kit and I was using this focus wheel, I would just turn it and turn it and turn it and it would take, seems like forever to focus from one spot to another. So when I was rack focusing from something in the foreground to something in the background or vice versa, it would just take so long and it wasn't really working. So for me, it just didn't do the job that I needed. It was just too slow. And for focus, you need that to be fast and you need it to be accurate. And it really wasn't that accurate and it just took too long. So I think DJI realized this and that's why they eliminated it from the essentials kit. So that's first things first. So the other two major differences between the essential kit and the standards kit is that the essential kit has this tripod, so does the standard kit. But the standard kit has a tripod that's made of metal, whereas the essentials kit has this tripod that's made of plastic. Now, if you look at them, they look the same to me. They both do the same job. That's not that big of a deal, okay? I can deal with having a plastic tripod. You could also buy one separately if you wanted, but it's not that big of a deal. The other thing they have is the standard kit has this little box, this accessories box, and that little box you don't need. I use a Ziploc bag to store all my accessories. And it also has these control cables. Now, some of these control cables are essential. However, the thing is, you only get the one cable, the USB-C that's used for charging the device. So you don't get all those other cables with the essentials kit. If you wanted to buy one of those cables, you could just go to the DJI store and buy one of these cables. I've included links to all of this stuff in the description below. And these cables are just like $19. The IR, the infrared cable, or if you want the multi-control cable, the type C or the type B or the multi USB, all those are $19. So they're not that much, even the mini USB, it's $19. With the money you're gonna save, the 749 versus 499 if you need to get one of those cables for $19 maybe two of them for $38 it's not that much more money and to me it's you're still going to save a bunch of money by using the essentials kit now let's go and see the difference if we scroll down we can see what's in the box now in the box you're going to get the gimbal obviously the bg37 grip which is the battery that lasts 12 to 15 hours okay they both have that they both have the camera mounting plate and that comes with the little screw that you use for the mounting plate and you get three screws. And then we also have the lens support. Now the lens support is good for, especially for DSLR cameras and big lenses like 70 to 200 millimeter lenses or big lenses like that. The lens support is gonna be helpful. Now I found I used it more with a DSLR than a micro four thirds or a smaller camera, but you know what a lens you have and having that lens support, they both have it. The camera riser, more micro four thirds, smaller cameras are gonna use it. Smaller DSLR cameras, bigger DSLRs probably won't need the camera riser, but it's there. And the USB-C cable, this cable has a USB-C at one end, which you plug into the device. You're gonna plug the other end, the USB, into a charger, a power adapter, sorry. Now this power adapter, I, I like to just call it a brick. Basically it comes with all your phone or any other like device, you probably have this. It's a USB at one end and then just the little outlet at the other. So you can just pick this up on Amazon or any other place. I'll leave a link in the description below with it. But you can just use this, the one that you have with your phone, and it'll work perfectly fine. 
It does not come with the essentials kit, but like I said, you probably already have it or you can pick it up for a few bucks, so it's not that big of a deal. The hook and loop strap for gimbal, this is good when you're just traveling without the case. You just wanna walk around with your gimbal. You can just put this strap around it when it's not in use, and that strap will keep it all together and keep from getting damaged. The storage case, this case is a hard foam. It's like the other DJI cases. Very well built, highly recommended. It's easy to transport your stuff with this storage case. Everything will fit in there, whether you get the standard kit or the essential kit, everything's gonna fit in that storage case. And like I said, this case is great. You really don't need to buy another case. Now the focus wheel, I already touched on that. Only comes with the standard kit, not the essentials kit, but you don't need it. Instead, what I recommend you do is get the Ronin S focus motor. This is gonna be a lot better option and it's definitely worth the $169 because with this on, it's actually gonna work very well to control the focus, the iris and the zoom. Whereas that focus wheel that comes with the standard Ronin S doesn't work very well. So this is the way to go. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. Then we look at all our cables. Now we have the infrared cable, the multi-camera control cable, the type C, type B. All three of these cables you can get for $19 each. Now they don't come with the essential kit, but you don't really need them for every camera. So it depends what camera you have. If you go to the Ronin S camera compatibility list, which I've included in the description below, for Canon, for instance, you need, if I'm using, let's say a 1DX Mark II, I need the infrared cable to start and stop recording and then to capture photo and video. I can use that by pressing the record button on the Ronin S and not have to touch my camera to start and stop recording. The multi-control cable B also start and stop recording video, capture photo. I can do pull focus electronically and trigger the autofocus. So having these little cables, you have to look at this compatibility chart. Most of you will probably use either Canon Panasonic and some of you will be using Sony. Some, very few I would guess would be Nikon, but most would be Sony, Panasonic, and Canon. Now I will say Nikon has stepped up their video, but most people usually use Sony or Canon is my recommendation. If you're a Panasonic or Nikon, it's cool too. And Panasonic actually seems to be the most compatible from the beginning, working very well with the Ronin S but this little chart shows you how to do it and it's very helpful. Without making this video too long, you can just get one of these cables and I've included that link in the description below. Pick it up if you need it. First check the compatibility list for your camera and then over here for your lens, okay? Cause it has to be a certain camera with a certain lens and then it will tell you all the firmware, what the camera does, the setup, etc. So let's go down now to the tripods like i said before with the essential one you get the plastic tripod with the standard version you get standard kit you get the metal tripod they basically do the same thing you don't need this power adapter if you already have one or you can get one they're very cheap the accessories box as i said before you really don't need it in a pinch you could use a ziploc bag all right now two allen wrenches the allen wrenches are great for attaching things to the side like the focus wheel, cheese plate, and other things. But I found that you could just get an Allen wrench somewhere else, a local hardware store, Home Depot. They only cost a few dollars, so that's not that serious either. And the hook and loop strap for cable, you can buy a bunch of these online and you really don't need them. You could even use a rubber band, so you don't really need that. Like I said, all those things, because you can get these cables by yourself, you could get the better focus wheel. You don't need this focus wheel. You're essentially looking at a better kit with the essential kit for just $499. So to me, it's a real no brainer. All right, so here are my final thoughts. The essential kit is essential if you want stabilized video with a micro four thirds camera or a DSLR camera. So if you use any camera like that and you wanna get super stable footage, professional looking footage. The essential kit for $4.99 to me is really a steal because DJI got rid of all the stuff that you really don't need. And the only thing you might need is one of those multi-control camera cables. They're only $19, so you could just pick that up in the DJI store. It's not that big of a deal. So when you put it all together for $4.99, plus that little cable, plus if you needed to get a power adapter like this that come with your phone, it's not that big of a deal. And you might be spending 
$550 max. So that's still $200 off the standard price and you don't have to worry about all that stuff that you don't need. All right, so having a plastic tripod versus a metal tripod, it's not that big of a deal because they both work. The nice thing about the Ronin S, on the bottom, it has two thread sizes that will fit virtually every tripod. So you could use it with your tripod, with a monopod, and you don't have to worry about any of that. Even a car mount, if you wanted to use that, you could try that out as well, although be careful with that. And I'm not sure exactly why DJI made this deal so good. Maybe it's because there's other competition. Maybe it's because they've sold so many Ronin S's and they want to pick up their sales by making a spectacular offer. To me, this is a no brainer. If you have $500 and want to get stabilized video, this is the way to go. The other way, if you want something a little smaller, you go with the Osmo Pocket. But obviously there's so many benefits to having a DSLR, a Micro Four Thirds camera. The most obvious is having good audio, which DJI hasn't produced that adapter for the Osmo Pocket yet that will allow you to hook up an external microphone. So if you want really good audio and you already have a DSLR, Micro Four Thirds, get the Ronin S Essential Kit. And me personally, I use the Ronin S with my Canon 80D because it has great autofocus. So I really didn't have to worry about the focus uh, motor that I suggested you get. But focus aside, the Ronin S battery lasts all day, 12 to 15 hours. You're never gonna run out of battery life. It's not that heavy. To me, it feels really good, really solid, and weight really isn't an issue. And the nice thing about the Ronin S, you don't need an external monitor because you can see the monitor no matter where you move the Ronin S, the monitor stays there in position and it's never blocked by the device itself. For me, buying a unit that's only $500 to get professional video quality, this is amazing. It's incredible how technology has changed so much. And with technology like this, it really makes the playing field a lot more even. Whereas someone who can't afford the really expensive equipment, you don't need that. Just get this Ronin S for $500 and you can get all that smooth cinematic footage without breaking your bank. That's all I got for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to get more videos like it, don't forget to press that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy it, press that like button. And before I go, remember, siempre pa'lante, nunca pa' atrás.